here and to learn about how the map looks like really strange. And then I'm going to show you the Taylor column and experimental process. At last, we are going to understand this experiment by equation. When you say Coriolis is first, it's a current motion caused by Earth's rotation, which works on any moving <coughs> object on Earth. We also call it deflecting, deflecting force. Coriolis first work to the right, right angular side on Earth's hemisphere, left, right angular side on south hemisphere. This is equation of Coriolis force. C is size of Coriolis force. V is movement. G Omega is angular velocity of Earth, and theta is latitude. This equation is showing proportional relation between Coriolis force and latitude movement speed. The bigger the velocity, the bigger the Coriolis force. So this equation is also saying that when the, when the object is on equator or in no spin, there is no Coriolis force working on it. There are many phenomena caused by Coriolis first, as you can see here. From this phenomena, let's learn about phenomena that happen initially in the ocean. First, the Ekman transform. Sea water's average movement in the crystal layer on Earth appears to write right angular slide of wind on Earth's hemisphere. We call it Ekman transport. You can see square form here. We call it Ekman's spiral. When wind blow regularly on surface of seawater, surface seawater flows deflected to right 45 degrees side of the universe. It happens by, effect, by the effect of Coriolis force. Second is geostrophic current. It is current that flow when pressure burden force and curling force becomes equilibrium in the ocean on depth which is deeper than friction resistant depth appear geostrophic current. In north hemisphere geostrophic current appears on the right angular side of pressure gradient force. Water surface is high and water pressure is large and water temperature is high at the right side of geostrophic current. For example like North Pacific Tercio current and North Atlantic Gulf Stream, many of the major currents have characteristic of geotrophic current. Third is the Taylor current. First, when you see this video, you can see the link spreading to every side.
can see the name evading obstacles in front of it. experiment we used obstacles in different shape and height. Likewise, set like this. Before watching this video, I want to say, say sorry about the result. The result is not apparent because rotating table didn't work properly at that time. So we rotated it by our hands. Maybe the force wasn't able to deliver regularly.